This interaction was so funny. The reason why it's so funny is because Sonic was like, yo, I dare you to whiff that move again. So I definitely was like, you know, I'm a 6H. And I was like, nah, five frames, baby. Cinco de Mayo, baby. What's going on, guys? So this month is actually Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And Panda has partnered with BCRF this month to bring you some sick merch like this beautiful hat right here. It's actually $20. And this is actually one of the cheapest merch that you could get at the panda.gg slash shop. I do like the hat, but since I have a lot of hair, it's very hard for me to wear the hat, but I do love the hoodie. The hoodie is actually one of my favorites. It's very comfortable. It feels like one of those pillows that you could just lay on and just fall asleep immediately. If I had my hoodie, I would definitely be wearing it right now. But you guys can actually go at panda.gg slash shop to go ahead and buy yourself one of these merch. And by the way, it actually gives 25% to the BCRF. So this is actually very, very helpful for not only yourself, but for the BCRF as well. Make sure you guys get it while it's in stock right now. It only lasts for a month. So you guys gotta hurry and go ahead and get yourself some of these sick merch. So thank you guys for supporting the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. But what will we see from King's adaptation? You never know what could happen here. And we're already here. We all Okay. This match might be already done. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, Dude, this right is now, so cheap right here. I actually board? I actually think this character is like like super over. good. The fact you can stagger pre That's pressure okay. with minions and That's give chip is too too good. Always, always There's hardly any kind of escape. But Kai's normals actually give her a hard time too. Oh man, dude, this was so try hard. That was so try hard right there. You know, obviously throw is very strong. They actually try to like get out of that loop situation. So I actually JD and then got a, a jump slash. Just to catch air to air. I really love Jekyll, from what I understand. Jekyll, honestly, looks like a very fun character, but at the same time, not Bro, look how much damage that did. Bro. That was an input error. That's unfortunate. And then, I'm mad. I'm mad that shit had no recovery, dude. The setup is so cheap. Oh, yep. That setup was so cheap, I just said f*** it. The fact that combo, I'm surprised that worked. Nice. Nice throw. Minion set. Oh, that's what he did. Have you played sets with high level Jackal and Stride? How prepared do you feel in this matchup? I'm going to be honest with you. I have not played any Jacko. I honestly went by the knowledge of when I play pure pure Jacko. And a lot of the setups that I was actually dealing with was literally off the fly. Uh, the problem is, is like everybody in the Celestial world is not trying to get their Jacko on. They're trying to get their Go Lewis on. They're trying to get their Nagori Yuki on. They're trying to get their Soul on. Ain't nobody playing this character in the Celestial world. So it's very hard to get actual quality matches. I do know, I one thing I do know in this match that Kai's normals give her a hard time. So I did abuse that. Like right here, the fact that 2k whiffed right there is crazy. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I feel like her normal, she has to really commit a lot, right? It's weird. Bro, this is... This, this, like I said, this, this character, bro, is so strong. Thankfully... I think Kai actually does okay against Leo. You know, the problem is, is like, bro, when this character just starts running at you, it's really hard to stop. Dealing with back turn and like the fact, I I think the sweep should be like minus seven because not a lot of characters could punish the sweep. Nice. Yeah, dude, I've been getting hit by that move a lot. They they was calling me out a lot every time. So I, so. Call me crazy, a bit of a curse. but seeing that, seeing this uh right here, like that setup off the OTG, I actually think that is very easy to react to. Thankfully, my character has so many invulnerable options right here. And I actually tried to do food arc right here, but it didn't come out. But that's fine. I'm glad I didn't. 
And yeah, I use FD to like, like I was gonna like run up throw or like run up button. So I use like FD to like, you know, basically fake out. And Song Fox looking to maybe be out of this tournament the way Gizzy is playing. I was saying he was looking for the Dragon Punch. Oh my God. Yeah, there you go. No stop. Wait a minute. Kizzy, what a throw! Yeah, that, that's matchup knowledge. I messed that up. <laughs> I got thrown. That's so scary. Yeah. Oh, the overhead. There's a burst. Yeah, you, you had to, right? And that's that shit is so fast, man. Kizzy, yeah. Do I got blown up? I got blown up a, a lot by that move. It's coming like down. It's coming down. Sonic right, just uh, they just had like that Kizzy, timing you, every I'm single time. Right? Pretty, got, pretty, got right here. pretty scary. First on deck. I don't know, man. And we're gonna run up. I'm gonna run up. And I, oop. Oh, nice. That's it, man. Get the RC. All right. I gotta say, All right. nice knowing you, Kizzy, but you gotta play another game with me. How we each play. Now, Damn. Okay. Jab. Yeah, it's fun, DP. About, like, no jump. Good jump. Like, yeah, that was actually good. Fun to start right now. It's not just about that. You know, your defense etiquette gotta be on okay. point. Okay. Wall break. We need that meter. Fox, right? exactly. We need all of that meter. Okay. No. This interaction was so funny. The reason why it's so funny is because Sada was like, "Yo, I dare you to whiff that move again." So I definitely was like, "You know, I'm a six H," and I was like. Right, nah, five frames, baby. Cinco de Mayo, baby. Nice six speed. I thought I could have got it. I could have got a harder punish. That was really, really weak. Really weak. I wanted the pressure because I was like, I want that corner. Good reaction. The fact, the fact that they did it off dash block too, also tells like that was just that was just straight. Like skill right Back there, even for a Leo, even for Leo. Patiently yeah. for a flash really good. kick. Wait for some committal, but first keep him in the corner. That's exactly what you need. Okay. Dude, look how many times like jab, like so now like the way I use jabs offline is because I know that every time I do a jab pressure, people just know that it's like minus on hit or block. So like I do a jab where it like places me in ranges where like I can like react to what they do. And then just like they hit a button, I just whip punch. For some committal, but first keep in the corner. Yeah, exactly. see, I just wait it. So like, even if he does sweep or something, I'm like, be ready. Nice. I got called out by that every single time. Get the wall break. I was really happy I got this wall break because I wanted to go mid screen, but then I I did something stupid. Yeah, I got hit. There you go. <laughs> Oh, oh see, so this is why, gotcha. this is why I like, I knew that like my burst was going to get baited, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very good at certain situations of like, okay, like these people are going to like try to hard bait my burst, right? And playing like uh, other Guilty Gear games, it taught me about like burst safe stuff and like mind game, mini, mini game burst, and then play Hamad all the time. So anytime I deal with like a burst, a burst bait mini game, I always have the advantage, yeah. but I don't think the commentators knew that it was a it was a burst bait. That was a good block. Bro, I'm just trying to run, dog. I ran out of meter. I said, "Yo, we out." Yup, we got the 2D. Bro, the whole different story. Oh, there we go. This could Kizzy. be it. This could be very close. Okay. One more minute. Yeah, he did. He did DP. Sonic, they did. They did DP. At first, I thought he was gonna risk dash K after the flip. Honestly, the reason why I didn't want to stagger anymore is because when I put them in this situation before, I did dash FD, and like DP came out. So I'm like, I could tell automatically he's reacting to the run. That means that if they're if they're reacting to the run, I have to make sure that whatever situation I have here, I make the decision immediately no hesitation hopefully everything shakes up in this patch so we don't got to figure out character strength right now yeah because i'm actually looking forward to the patch one of the things i'm most happy about the most guys is i'm just glad that i was able to play offline strive offline strive is amazing